For my piece in Los Angeles Magazine, what I really wanted to do was tie together a lot of these threads that had been kind of floating out there for a long time. And it was certainly a, a challenge because there are so many levels to 3HO. So you have the yoga, you have the businesses, you have um, the yoga businesses. Um, and then you also have the legacy of Yogi Bhajan. And um, so some of the main things that I uncovered was, were that, you know, for years I had heard these rumors about misconduct, um, both the financial crimes and the sexual misconduct. Um, so I was able to, um, okay, let me pause and back up. Um, so I had written about, uh, 3HO over the years as a yoga journalist, right? So I, I was aware of it from a wellness perspective, but as I dug into it for this piece, you know, the irony was they called Kundalini the yoga of awareness, but there it's really a culture deeply in denial and it's been in denial for a long time. Um, and I think one of the things that I discovered was that the first generation, sometimes unwittingly, you know, because of their mind control and their devotion to the yoga, um, covered up the corruption and the abuse because they didn't want to, they didn't want to look at it. They didn't want to acknowledge it. They didn't want to acknowledge that their children had gone to these schools where they were horribly abused, both um, sexual abuse, physical abuse, malnutrition. And that abuse was allowed to happen because the first generation built this institutional system of abuse that continued on. And to me, that was one of the most significant revelations, you know, hearing these second generation um, young adults tell these stories. And that was also a real turning point for the community because as these stories started to come out, there were these series of Zoom calls and the parents were forced to hear the children tell these stories. And, you know, having spoken to some first generation, you know, some said, you know, I broke down in tears. I, I, I didn't know this. Or they'd say, oh, I thought they were joking. I didn't think it was that bad. So there was this reckoning. And I think that's the other thing that my piece explored was the, this reckoning in the community. How do we, you know, uh, maintain the teachings? There, there's, a, there's a phrase that they say, you know, don't love me, love the teaching. So this is this kind of push and pull that's going on within the community. Um, and the other thing that I think that we need to point out is that um, Yogi Bhajan as the Saturn teacher, especially when it came to the second generation, was really, um, you know, he had this philosophy almost of detachment parenting. And um, I spoke to first generation women who told me that they literally had to kind of resist their nurturing, mothering instincts to, you know, be the Khalsa woman and not be neurotic and not freak out. These are, these are, this is the terminology that was used. Um, and, you know, and also the idea that some people just are double downing and saying he never did this, you know, there, and, creating, you know, propaganda videos, websites, denying that it happened. 